Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I would like to take a look at the iPhone 7 two years after its release. But before we do, please leave a like and subscribe as it is greatly appreciated. Here it is, the iPhone 7. It has been out for over two years and I would want to talk about how good it is and is it still worth buying in 2019. This iPhone was originally introduced with many new things in its design and in many other areas. This phone introduced a new optical image stabilized camera, a new sensor and a new 1.8 aperture. It introduced 4K video and it does a great job even today. It has live photos and videos at 4K which makes it a good camera. You have the stabilization which makes the videos even better in 2019. However, it doesn't do 4K 60 frames per second, but on the other hand, the front facing camera is 7 megapixels, which is still used in the newer iPhones, but you don't have an emoji and memoji. The display is a 4.7 inch with 326 pixels per inch, which can still be seen on the iPhone XR. The resolution is 1334 by 750, and it was the first iPhone to introduce the P30 color gamut with a very vibrant display. However, you can't watch HDR videos on YouTube as the support is not there. The phone introduced the dual speakers. It uses a speaker on the bottom and on the top earpiece. It is great to have stereo sound when watching videos or movies on your phone. However, the speakers aren't as good as in the newer phones. The performance of the phone is very good with the A10 Fusion processor. It is absolutely not slow for 2019 and most people won't even notice any sort of lag or stutter as it is so smooth. The iPhone 7 also got rid of the mechanical home button. You can select the strength of the click, however it is a pure vibration that gives you the sense of the click. This also adds benefits to its watch resistance. This was the first step to more dust and watch resistance and it is a great phone for most people with a high durability and a starting price of $549. If you're coming from smaller phones then the larger display will be great, you will be able to use the phone for a few more years to come. There are also some new apps that you can enjoy like the meter and the measure app. Well, this is the end of the video. Please let me know if you have any ideas for my upcoming videos in the comments down below. Also, while you're down there, please leave a like and subscribe as it is greatly appreciated and it helps me out tremendously. Okay, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!